Hello Internet. It's been over three years since I uploaded my last video. I would have made another video, but I had a bit of a setback. Uh, some seven weeks after my last video, I was diagnosed with cancer. Whilst waiting for treatment to start, I continued my rehabilitation following my back surgery. So to continue the timeline of the events following my surgery, at week f uh, five post-op, I started uh, physical therapy. This would eventually prove to be very useful in reducing uh, the sciatica symptoms. As of week eight post-op, I was doing uh, many walks per day, but was limited to about 12 minutes each due to continuation of my sciatica symptoms. By week nine, I was continuing my walks plus 13 separate uh, physio exercises per day. Week 10 was where I got my cancer diagnosis following a colonoscopy. Uh, the diagnosis did not dampen my spirits. I, I think in part due to the increase in uh, physical exercise. Ultimately, the increase in daily exercise would, would help me get through some of the tough times during my cancer treatment. Um, by week 11, I was up to about 15 minute walks before starting to experience sciatica symptoms. By week 16, I was up to about 20 minutes before experiencing any pain. Uh, strangely enough, by week 17, I was walking up to 30 to 39 minutes without any pain at all, which for me was, was a real milestone. Uh, weeks 20 to 25 uh, was chemo and radiation treatments. Um, for the first three and a half of those weeks, I continued uh, with my, my walks without too much difficulty. Only the last week and a half and a few weeks following did I stop my exercises due to the effect of the treatment. By week 27, I started to doing single longer walks each day or every other day um, of between 8 and 11 kilometers without any pain or symptoms. Um, week 53, I did my last long walk of, of 10K uh, a, that day before my cancer surgery. Uh, week 55, two weeks after my surgery, I was doing small walks of between 500 meters and two, two kilometers each day. The weeks that followed were a bit of a struggle for me to get used to my new normal following my cancer surgery. But the walking helped keep my spirits up and uh, made me feel healthy. Seven months after my cancer surgery, I finally got to a point where I was living fully in a new normal. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but to this date, quite acceptable given the original circumstances I was in. Uh, since that time, I have continued uh, with my long walks, sometimes getting up to about 15K each. Uh, later, I changed my tactics to limiting the walks to about five or, or no, eight kilometers uh, a day. And I changed over to running. Um, since those times, I've experienced occasional sciatic pain, but I attribute it to the lack of keeping up with my physical therapy. Uh, knowing this, I would start the exercises again, uh, and after a few weeks, would notice the symptoms abating. So as it turns out, for me at least, uh, the, the physio exercises are a key to staying pain-free. For, for the past year, I have reduced my running walking due to um, hip and knee pain, which I guess I would expect when you grow older. So, to sum it up, I have found that by sticking to a regimen of exercise has been a real savior to me in many ways. I hope I can continue my walks in the future, hopefully getting new, new hip and, and knee to keep me moving well into my retirement. Well, that's about it. And thank you for listening. Until maybe next time, I'll see you.